to the channel and uh, welcome to Haymaking 2022. It's the 7th of July today and um, just about to start the, the main bulk of the, the haymaking. Uh, so far I've managed to do a small amount, um, mid of June, during the last really nice hot weather. Uh, that was the, the hay that goes for, for rabbits, but it's quite a small quantity. Uh, today we're making a start on a four acre field, but um, the hay usually goes for, if it tests okay, it'll go for uh, low sugar, um, the sort of speciality hay. There's certain things that you need for it to be low sugar and uh, various factors have to come together. Um, I tend to leave the grass until a little bit later in the season, I say we're early July now, and then it loses a little bit of its richness. But also I want the, the grass to be cut when the sun's not up because the sun sort of brings the sugars up. So what is it, sort of nine o'clock in the morning, it's a nice overcast day and uh, really perfect conditions for, for mowing it. I'll show you what the uh, the grass itself looks like. It's a it's a lay that we try to get um, something which isn't this, nothing too rich. It has got quite a lot of clover in, and uh, that helps keep the proteins up. But uh, equally, the type of grass that's in there, it's that's, it sets itself really well for uh, for low sugar. What I'm looking for is um, an ESC, which is the ethanol soluble carbohydrate and starch figures combined, being about less than 10%. And um, what I do is I make the hay as best you can, uh, trying to satisfy those, those requirements and then send it away to, uh, to get tested. And um, if you're lucky, I mean, usually it does come back okay, but uh, <laughs> who, who knows from year to year. So I'll just go and show you the, what the lay is and, uh, and then I'll make a start. So this is the field. You can see there's quite a lot of dead, taller grasses in it at the moment. That's uh, that's really not a problem. But the bottom of the lay has uh, quite a bit of clover in it. It's a mixture of um, white clover and uh, red clover. And uh, it, what, it, what, what the clover's really doing is giving us that little bit of protein. Sometimes, sometimes hay gets bad press because of its uh, protein levels when you're looking at feeding horses in particular that don't need a lot of a um, lot of a uh, lot of hay that um, sometimes protein is blamed for all sorts of uh, ills it's not really the protein it's what comes with it and as I say in the case of um, things like laminitis obesity cushions you're really looking for something which I as far as I understand and you must really check it out for yourself is something which is uh, relatively low in sugar and starch but the protein levels you can keep them up but um, then you just got to moderate how much hay is actually um, fed to the horse so uh, you might have seen a previous video I did about strategy and uh, when it comes to hay making and like a lot of people I've not put fertilizer on this field this year as you see it's still growing okay the bottom's a little bit open and it really does need um, overseeding which I'll look at doing this uh, this year but the the clover is is fixing nitrogen for free and uh, it's giving me what I want in the in the hay itself in terms of keeping the protein levels up but you can probably see some of this grass it's it's it's, it's dead really there's not a lot going on there and uh, but that, that isn't a problem it it gives us bulk and uh, contributes to, to keeping the sugars down so that's what the, the layer looks like and uh, so we'll get on and uh, and get it cut. So you might be wondering why I bother making low sugar hay. It's really about marketing and um, meeting the needs of, uh, of customers, especially where you can potentially get a, a premium. What happened with the, the hay market last year, I think it was a year of plenty and uh, quite a few people have got carry over, which this year is not a bad thing really because of, like myself, a lot of people haven't put uh, fertilizer on, and uh, certainly in some parts of the country are reporting lower yields. Wales looks to be doing okay, but this is in the east of England, and um, certainly primarily due to the lack of rainfall, we are struggling a little bit. And, um, but notwithstanding that, if we get another year of uh, poor sales, uh, it could be a bit of a problem. When I advertise hay as low sugar in the past, I have, uh, have sold out and at uh, a reasonable price. And I 
think getting the getting the certificate done makes all the difference. It costs probably, I don't know, 45, 50 quid in total to do it. So it's not particularly cheap. Uh, but I will show you later how, uh, how good that sampling that. But uh, I think a little bit of investment like that, keeping the prices up, uh, is, uh, is a good thing. And um, I think anything in agriculture is so important to be not doing things just because you like doing them or because you've always done them, but because it suits the market. And if you still enjoy doing it along the way, all, all so much the better. So that's, that's why I do it. And um, so we have got a bit of a carryover from last year. Uh, whether I test, I didn't, I didn't bother testing last year. Whether I go back and, uh, and test it and uh, the market, that's no trouble as well. We can test out on here. Red kites are very interested in what's going on today. They seem to have taken over from uh, the buzzards. Easy pickings. Amazing creatures. When you get up so close to them, look at them playing. When you get up close to them, just uh, just how big they actually are. Right. Well, that's it all. Uh, morn. Uh, no problems at all. Doesn't, doesn't take long. Uh, weather forecast now is uh, is really set fair. There's an Azores high which is uh, really building in quite nicely. It's a little overcast today, but I think it's going to get out uh, better this afternoon. And um, I think probably the forecast is really as, as good as it gets. Uh, it's building up to 30 degree heat. Well, it's Thursday now into the weekend and uh, early part of next week. So, um, and at the moment, <laughs> you know, they're saying there's no prospect of rain, but yeah. Um, so all good really. Uh, the intention is uh, not to invest too much money in actually uh, making this air. I don't see the need, just let the weather um, do it. So uh, it's about 11 o'clock in the morning now. Probably come and um, spread it out tonight and then uh, then just leave it for a day and leave it on its own. Come back on Saturday and, uh, and turn it. Um, probably leave it on Sunday and um, hopefully see if it's fit to bail on Monday. <coughs> if anything, the thin bits will be a little bit over dry but we've been in quite a bit of uh, clover in there you just got to be careful to make sure that the stems of the clover actually um, are properly uh, properly dry the really grass drying out quite a lot now what i'm trying to do is to uh, let the roses turn relatively slowly keep the forward speed up this part of the field is really quite a thin uh, thin area anyway so they kick on a bit and um, because there's quite a lot of clover in the in here what i don't want to do is to let the the leaves are scattered and, uh, and get lost because to be fair, there isn't such a bit of drop anyway that we won't be losing any. So that's, that's a general tour, just try and match the forward speed to the, to the, to the need to um, just get the rotors turning at the right speed and reduce that, uh, that crop loss. Right, well that's it all uh, turned over, no, no problem at all. If it wasn't for the fact the uh, outside, you can see that over there, is still uh, pretty green, it would be ready to uh, to bail, but um, I think the best thing to do is to just leave it for this afternoon, come back in reasonable time in the morning, get it rode straight up and, uh, and get it bailed. <laughs>
So in terms of getting samples for testing, all I do is just, when I get back to the barn, just grab a bit, put it in the bag. Make sure it's come from different packs and uh, that's all you need to do. So that's about it. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got this far and you're enjoying the videos, you find them quite informative, please do um, subscribe to the channel and uh, just like and, and please do comment. I'm always keen to learn. Um, I am going to post the video in its entirety with the exception of the, uh, the actual certificate for the uh, low sugar hay, the analysis certificate. If I can, because that takes a little while to come through, uh, if I can I'll try and add that into the uh, into the description further uh, further down and we'll see what it actually uh, came out like so uh, again thanks uh, thanks for watching